guys, it's Anna, your Master Lash Artist. Today we are gonna do a brown and black wispy set. Brown is trending right now and you can use it in so many ways. You can use it to enhance the eye color. Uh, you can use it to enhance hair color. Uh, you can use it in just so many ways. So let's do a brown and black wispy set. We're gonna be using the brown mix tray from the Lash Supply along with pre-made spikes. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and prime the lashes, especially if we just did a removal. We wanna make sure that even after a lash bath, we have removed all the residue. I'm gonna adjust her pad. Sometimes it's tricky on the outer corners. The pad gets a little on the upper lashes. There we go, it's perfect. And now we're ready to lash. Shake up your glue. Okay, so we are going to map this out. Ten, eleven, twelve. And then for our wispies, we're gonna map these out three sizes bigger. So we're gonna do our wispies 13, 14, and 15. I like to start with my wispies first. And I like to lay these out first before I start the brown lashes. Make sure that you are mindful of the direction that you're placing your spikes because if they do turn left or right, they will not show up on your sets. Thank you. 
gonna fan those out really good. And then I'm gonna go in with my brown lashes.
So if you are interested in becoming a Lash Tech, please don't forget that we absolutely do trainings, whether it's beginner or advanced. We do trainings so that you can recreate sets like this. Um, our one day class, we have a one day class, we have three day class, it just depends on what you want to do, what you want to learn. Um, so we're available uh, for multiple days. Just reach out to us or go to academylash.com and you can actually sign up for training there. We also have financing or a payment plan through a firm. So make sure you go and take a look at that because you can absolutely start training if you get approved with a firm and you won't even have to come out of pocket too much so make sure that you take a look at our training dates we have trainings year-round and again we have beginner and advanced training now I ran out of 11 so I'm gonna go ahead and take another 11 here so that I can finish our mapping and then we're gonna continue after that with our 12 and you don't know if you're gonna use one strip or two strips of a certain size. It just depends on the look that you're going for and the customer's actual lash line. There's some customers that have a very sparse lash line and there's some that have very full lash line. And I try to get as many lashes as possible. There are some lash artists that don't lash um, a lot of the lashes, um, but I really like to go in there and give a really full look. Whenever you lash a lot more of their lash line, their fills um, don't look like fills. They look like they have a full set still. So I try to take my time and try to lash as many lashes as possible. Of course, you have to lash the healthy lashes. So if you see a lot of brittle, thin lashes, you wanna try not to lash those. Of course, there are customers with brittle lash line. Um, in that case, you wanna use a smaller diameter so that the lash is lighter and it's not damaging to their lash line. So guys, here in the state of Texas, you absolutely need to have a license in order to lash. Now, there are so many options for a license now. A very long time ago, you either had to be a cosmetologist or an esthetician in order to lash. And that's like from 700 to 1,000 hours now. So I know we don't all have that kind of time. And um, a nine month to a year program sounds like out of this world to you. Now there is a lash extension specialty license program that you can take here in Houston. That program is actually only 320 hours. So it's more like about um, three months of your life, but it's totally worth it because you will have a license. Um, the reason we love to do our certification classes is because a lot of the times we go to school we become a cosmetologist and an esthetician but then we fall in love with the lash world and a lot of people want to get certified in lashes so they can offer the service another reason why we do it to we give it out to um, non-licensed professionals is because there's a lot of people that are contemplating figuring out what they love so a lash class like ours is perfect to try and see if this is a good fit for you because a lot of the times a lot of a lot of people do it a little backwards they go to esthetician school they go to cosmetology school or they do the lash extension licensing program and then they figure out they don't like it and that's three months and a lot of money later that you figured it out that you didn't want to do this. But if you take a class with us, um, you get so much information. You'll know whether you 
like it or not, whether you think this is for you or not. And then you can go from there instead of going straight to the licensing. So this is why a lot of the times people take our course uh, so that they can figure out if this is for them. Uh, once they take the class, they're like, you know what? I really like this. I'm gonna go get my license. And then sometimes they're like, you know what? I like it, but this is not what I wanna do full time. So it's better to spend a couple of hundred dollars to try to figure out what your career path is than spending a thousand, a few thousand dollars and then thinking, no, this is not for me. So it's a good idea to take a class and see if Lash Extensions is for you or if you're a licensed professional, taking a class to add to your services is actually a really good idea because everyone knows in the beauty industry, uh, there's ups and, ups and downs. Some days you might make a lot of money, some days you might not. Um, but you have other services to fall back on. So you're not just providing one service now, you're providing multiple service and Lash Extensions is a billion dollar industry right now. So you just never know where Lash Extensions will take you. It's a really, really good industry. So look into that. Again, our class dates are always on our Instagram and Facebook pages. So keep an eye out for that as well. Also, we have courses online. So if you're looking more for a simplified course, uh, something that you can do on your own time, we do have courses online. They're available to you at all times. So if you go to academylash.com, again, there's courses online that you can take as well. Also, I know that you guys have seen our kits in stores. If you buy one of our full size kits, you do get uh, info on our online program. So make sure you ask about that next time you're in one of our stores. really like a uh, brown color guys because like I told you guys at the beginning of the video it enhances features just like makeup colored lashes enhance someone's features so when we're taught to do makeup the different colors um, we're taught that they can just enhance someone's eye color their skin, uh, it can just complement their hair. And so it's very popular to do colored lashes. Brown lashes, of course, have been around for a long time, but not a lot of people have actually played with them and kind of taken a look to see what that looks like. But on a dark or even light colored eye, it just makes that eye pop, especially those brown eyes. So if you want to try a brown colored lash. The Lash Supply has them in two different mixed trays. They also have them in pre-made. So if you feel like you're not that good at fans, it's okay. There's pre-mades that you can use so that it's not so difficult. And of course the spikes come in pre-mades as well. So super easy. You can do a couple of sets with the uh, pre-mades, um, even with a mix lash trays so go and pick some up it's not that hard and start posting these brown lash sets this is going to be a game changer for you and your business and attract more clientele so start shopping for those brown lashes so that you can post premium content and show your customers how versatile your your sets are. You're not just posting the same thing over and over and over. We're almost done with this set. We have just a few more to go and then I'm going to check my bottom layer because that's really important. Do our touches, put our bonder, and then we will show you the final result.
For this set, I am using Magic Glue. And I really like Magic because it really compares to a lot of, well, very few, it compares to very few glues that I've tried. Magic dries really quick, um, but it's a very powerful glue. It's not uh, meant for high humidity. It's meant for kind of low humidity, but if you're in the 40s, you'll be okay. I know some of our lash techs in California, uh, you have messaged us and said, hey, like this glue for me is not working over here. You need to try different glues from the lash supply because I promise you that I use Magic and I use uh, Flex in my studio. I have both of them at all times. And sometimes when the weather changes and my humidity is a little high, I will use Flex. And when my humidity is a little low, I will use Magic. So if you live in an area with really high humidity, I don't recommend that you use Magic. I would try more Flex. But again, you should have two glues in your studio at all times because unless you live in an area where you always have high humidity or always have low humidity, uh, humidity and temperature is always going to fluctuate. So having two different glues even for different seasons is a really good idea because it's not going to slow you down. You're not going to get frustrated with one of your adhesives and, you know, have a really bad lash day. I've had those before. Um, having two of them is going to really save your life and you're going to just be like, oh my God, thank God that I, I took that advice. I didn't know that for a very long time. And when I kind of figured it out, it was just such a relief because I wasn't fighting with my glue all day long. And a lot of the reason why you hear like, oh, this glue doesn't work or that glue doesn't work is because they're actually not using it for their speed or not using it in the correct temperature and humidity in their space. So um, the glue works. You just have to know how it works in order to make it work for you. So just make sure that you try different glues in different humidity, different temperature, and it's gonna make life so much easier for you. Okay guys, so I am done with my set. And I know you notice that I use my fan a lot throughout my set. I use it when my customer has a lot of tiny lashes um, in between her natural lash line. When I open up and I apply a lash, as soon as I let go, those tiny lashes are just going to attach themselves to my lash extension. So sometimes I try to take my fan to dry that lash extension if I know there's a lot of new growth around it. And that keeps you from having so many stickies. And of course, it keeps your customer's eyelashes healthy. So make sure that you're doing whatever you can to try to keep your customer's uh, lashes healthy. They're not sticking. And of course, after each set, check your work to make sure that you don't have any stickies. Now at this time I dried for about a minute and after I dry for about a minute, I'm going to apply my bonder. Now the Lash Supply Bonder is my favorite. You have to go and do the same experiment that I did. If you go to my Instagram and the Lash Supply, you'll see that I tried it um, water versus bonder the other day in my studio. I tried two different bonders, two different glues, and the results with the Lash Supply Bonder were amazing. You have to try it in your studio. Go get some bonder and try that. Now with the bonder, all I need is just one drop. One drop goes a really long way. And again, I'll just pour one drop. Oops, there we go. One drop on my little brush. I dab the excess and then I will just put it on the base of the lashes. I will not put it out through the entire set. So I'm just going to put it right at the base, right where the glue goes. You want to also make sure that your glue is dry because if you put bonder on too soon, it does make the glue turn white. It shocks that glue and it's not very pretty for your customer when they look in the mirror. So then we want to make sure we dry the bonder as well. 
I generally just brush through, help it kind of dry there. And then if you have customers that have sensitive eyes or you just wanna help with the fumes, if any, um, I usually take my Nano Mister after and I apply the Nano Mister as well. The Nano Mister is just water, okay? You do not put anything in here because if it touches the skin, your customer can have irritation. So this is just water and you wanna turn it on. Technical difficulties. <laughs> and I just raise the lid just slightly and I bring it all the way under there. Same thing with the other side. And that just feels very refreshing and cool to your customer. I bring it out on both sides. And then I just wanna dry again. You don't have to do both, but it does help with fumes and it helps in uh, to dry that glue all the way in. Okay, now that I have dried, I always make sure I don't have any stickies before I take off the pads. So I kind of just look with my mirror and lift a little bit. Now I see that this little tiny corner one is just a little bit stuck. So I'm just gonna pull it up. There we go. And the rest of it looks good. I see a lash here hanging. I don't want it to go into her eye. So I'm gonna remove that loose lash. Same thing on this side. I'm just gonna take a look, make sure I don't have any stickies before I take off the pad. Everything looks good. I'm gonna brush it up just once because I see there's something loose right there. There we go. And we are done. We can take off the pads. So I wanna come in here, take these pads off. And the good thing about using silicone tape is that the lashes that are sandwiched in between the pad and the blue tape just slide out and there's no pulling so your customer is comfortable okay so i'm just going to brush them very quickly just so that your customer can get a great view once they open 